Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and this is part two of our adventures looking for the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. As we left off last time, I got very lucky in avoiding some kind of leather clad goblin, and I promptly read the wrong chapter in the book. I read 300, I was meant to read 301. Uh, the voting on what to do after the last chapter was to go through the metal door. Fortunately, you'll see why it doesn't matter that I read the wrong chapter. To your left, on the west face of the passage, there is a rough cut wooden door. You listen at the door and can hear a rasping sound which may be some sort of creature snoring. Do you want to open the door? If so, turn to 82. If you wish to press, press on northwards, turn to 208. You can now see why it didn't matter too much that I fucked up. We're going to go through the door. 82. Try and remember that this time, you idiot. <laughs> the door opens to reveal a small, smelly room. In the centre of the room is a rickety wooden table on which stands a lit candle. Underneath the table is a small wooden box. Asleep on a straw mattress in the far corner of the room is a short, stocky creature. Hello? With an ugly, warty face. The same sort of creature that you found asleep at the sentry post. He must be the guard for the night watch. You may either return to the corridor and press on northwards, or creep into the room and try to take the box without waking the creature. If you want to try to steal the box, test your luck. Uh, right, so it looks to me like... Hmm. We've got a, f a good three options here. So I'm going to go with the... Uh, I'm going to go with a D6 on this one. So one or a two for the first option, three or a four for the second, five or a six for the third. That's a three. So that was the third option, which is test your luck. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it should have been two options on the dice roll there, one for leaving and one for going for the creature. Well, I rolled a three, which would technically be, using my own rules, the first option. So ignore, ignore everything I just said. We're going to return to the corridor and press on northwards. Turn to 208. On an unrelated note, I left this mug full of cold water out since the last time I recorded this, which was over a week ago. It looks unpleasant. Yes. 208. Shit, did I say 208? I did say 208, didn't I? There's no going back now. Further up the passage, along the west wall, you see another door. You listen at it, but hear nothing. If you want to try opening the door, turn to 397. If you want to continue northwards, turn to 363. Hardly any time at all has passed, so we're going to flip the old coin of deciding. Heads, which is that. Heads will uh, open the door, tails continue on. That's the tails. Uh, continue northwards. Turn to 363. 363. Way the hell up there, that is. Uh, yep, 363. Further up the passage, on the west wall, you see another similar door. There's been a lot of doors so far. You listen at the door and grimace. Um, a grimace in this situation is uh, showing a grim look on one's face. It is not a character from the 80s to 90s McDonald's television adverts of America. You listen at the door and grimace to hear the worst singing you have ever heard in your life. Do you want to go into the room to investigate this hideous din, or walk up the passageway? That's a heads this time. We're investigating the hideous sounds. 
One page. Cheeky. I like it. The door opens to reveal a small room. The room is dirty and unkempt. A straw mattress lies in one corner. Uh, we're presuming the room to be a typical box using four corners. So we've got door, one room, with one corner of a mattress so far. In the centre of the room is a wooden table upon which a candle burns. Lighting the room with its flickering flame, a small box rests under the table. Seated around the table are two small creatures with warty skin dressed in leather armour. They are drinking some sort of grog and, by the way they stagger to their feet on your arrival, you assume they are very drunk. You may either draw your sword and leap forward or slam the door and run. I'm now turning back a page because I'm I'm not convinced I turned to the right page there because I was expecting singing. Uh, no, I was right. I was right. They're just there singing, having a merry old time. Right. Are we going to attack or are we going to just run? So far, literally every event has involved running. Uh, well, I've everything I've come across, I've come across, I've just noped the hell out of there. Uh can't pick this up for the life of me. So, heads, we attack. Tails, we run. Turn to 42, a fine number. 42. You eventually arrive at the end of the passage at a freeway junction. You may either turn, sorry, you may turn either to the west or the east, um, meaning that this junction we've come up to is presumably a T junction. We've traveled north up it. Assume that is north in this case. We can go east or west, uh, dep depending on whatever way you look at it, really. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do another coin flip on this one. Heads, we turn west. Tails, to the east. That's a heads. We're going west. No! My health is greatly diminished. I was attacked by a huge book. Turn to 257. It's a real page turner, this. Might be one of the best jokes I've ever made. The passageway runs straight for several meters and then ends at a wooden door. You listen at the door and hear angry shouting coming from within. Will you investigate? Or will you run? Or will you investigate and then run? Which is my usual tradition. Let's find out. Heads and I investigate. It's tails again. I don't know if this is actually fair. I've never really thought about that. Turn back to 293. The fact that it's telling me to turn back means that either 293 was just the, the opposite of my last choice or I'm about to get attacked. What do you think? You arrive back at the junction in the passage and walk straight to eastwards. Turn to 113. It is a convoluted path, I take, isn't it? You arrive at another junction in the passage. You may either go northwards or continue eastwards. I'm now at the point where I'm completely lost. <laughs> I've been completely turned around and I have made no effort to make a map despite having pen and paper both handy. I've also forgotten what I just read. <laughs> All right, so heads we go north, tails east. That's a tails. It'd be great if I could actually flip that properly, wouldn't it? I haven't, I haven't got the room here. I'll fuck up. So we're turning eastwards. It's page 78. I'm so turned around at this point. I've lost all bearing on life. That's actually an existential comment about myself more than this particular book. The passage, the passage ends at a solid wooden door with metal hinges. Listening at the door, you hear strange mutterings and the clatter of what could be pots and pans. Whatever is in there, there are several several of them. Go through the door or turn back. Okay. Heads I turn no heads I go through the door. Shit. Um just gonna, just gonna. Uh, 
I can confirm it was heads, and that will be the end of the coin tossing segment of this series. So we're going through the door to what is likely a goblin kitchen. I'm assuming these are goblins because I like using the word goblins. They could be some form of kobold. Another word I enjoy. One five nine. You open the door into a large room which can only be the dining room of the same warty faced creatures you now recognise. Sitting round, not around, a large table are five orcs. This, this is odd, the word orcs, it's spelled O-R-C-S, but each letter is capitalised in an unusual fashion. There are five orcs busily drinking and dribbling their bowls of rat gizzard soup. How do you know this rat gizzard soup? All are involved in a rowdy argument as to who will get to chew the rat bones left in the large soup cauldron. So they do not see you enter. You may be bold and prepare to attack them. Or you may relish the prospect of taking on five of these creatures and try to escape. If you wish to leave the room, test your luck. Uh, yep. Okay, that's... Oh, all oh, right, I see. I see, right. Yeah, so I've got a choice. I can attack or try and leave, and then if I try and leave, I have to test my luck. I was a bit confused there because I thought the only option was to try and get lucky, which um, which wouldn't make sense. Well, that's a that's a fine place to leave off. So um, go ahead and write up in the comments. Do you want me to attempt to attack the orcs and bring a small sliver of intrigue and action into this series, or should I leave and con continue just? walking about the corridors like a medieval rumba. I'll see you next time. Please do tell me what to do. I've lost my coin. <laughs>